हॅलो एव्हरीवन आय एम सोनाली कानावडे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्प्युटर इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ऑल इंडिया श्री शिवाजी मेमोरियल सोसायटी इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी पुणे टुडे सो टुडेज आवर टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी प्लस प्लस in that uh, we are introduce the object oriented programming why uh, it is important in a difference between procedural and object oriented programming language the structure of c++ classes in c++ then constructor destructor and access modifier then first of all what is c++ c++ is an object oriented programming language which use a clear structure to the program and allow code to be reused lowering development cost c++ is a portable and can be used to develop application that can be adapted to multiple platforms c++ is a fun and easy to learn mostly this language is used for uh, gaming purpose then what is c++ c++ was developed by uh, bajrani startups is an extension to the c language c++ gives programmers a high level of control over system resources and memory the language was updated four major times in 2011 2014 2017 and 2020 to c++ 11 uh, c++ 14 c++ uh, 17 and c++ 20 then why use c++ c++ is one of the uh, world's most pop, uh, popular programming language it is object oriented programming language C++ can be found in today's operating system graphically uh, graphical user interface and embedded system C++ is an object oriented programming language which gives a clear structure to the programmers and allows code to to be reused lowering development cost so uh, C++ is a portable and can be used to develop application that can be adapted to multiple platforms C++ is a fun and easy to learn at c++ uh, is close to c c sharp and java it makes easy uh, for programmers to switch uh, to c++ or vice versa so uh, what is the difference between c and c++ uh, c is uh, basically a procedural uh, programming language and c++ is a object oriented uh, language <coughs> c++ was developed as an extension of c and <coughs> both language have almost the same syntax the main difference between c and c++ is that the c++ support classes object while c does not uh, support it to the object and classes so uh, object oriented programming means object oriented programming is a computer programming model that organizes software design around data or object rather than function and logic an object can be defined as a data field that has unique attributes and behavior <coughs> so uh, op uh, op means object oriented programming focuses on the object that developers want to uh, manipulate rather than the logic required to ma uh, manipulate them for example op can be used for manufacturing system simulation software <coughs> so uh, object oriented programming language for the first step in oops is to collect all the object a programmer want to manipulate and identify how they relate to each other there are uh, several object oriented uh, programming things first is the encapsulation then uh, abstraction polymorphism inheritance class object this concept is including uh, object oriented programming language that is oops so what is the structure of object oriented programming language in that uh, we are uh, defining that the classes object methods and attributes so what are the main principle uh, of oops uh, that's why the c++ is a object oriented programming language in that first is the encapsulation encapsulation means binding and wrapping of data then abstraction means hiding uh, some uh, 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 hiding some data uh, and unnecessary implementation of code is hide and uh, derived classes can uh, have its functionality extended the concept can help developers uh, more easily make additional changes or additional overtime then inheritance inheritance means uh, one class can uh, inherit the property of another class that is uh, one is the parent class and one is uh, second is the base class so uh, child class can acquire the property of uh, parent class that is nothing but the inheritance and there are several types first is the simple uh, single inheritance multiple inheritance multi level inheritance 
then uh, hierarchical and hybrid inheritance then next is the polymorphism object are designed to uh, share uh, behavior and they can take more than one form so uh, the programmer will uh, determine which uh, meaning or use case uh, is necessary for each uh, execution of that object from a parent class reducing the need to uh, duplicate code so uh, then app these are the concept and these are the examples of that then what are the benefits of oops uh, first one is the modularity then reusability uh, productivity easily upgradable and uh, scalable then interface description security flexibility these are the benefits of oops the main difference between uh, procedure oriented and uh, object oriented programming language is uh, procedure language c is the procedure programming language also c++ is the object oriented programming language then uh, in a uh, procedure oriented programming uh, follows a top down approach also uh, object oriented programming follows a bottom up approach then uh, object uh, oriented program uh, object oriented programming language has access by uh, ex uh, use access specified like private public and protected but in c or uh, it is in uh, procedure object uh, oriented uh, procedure oriented programming there is not using uh, access modifier that is private public and protected uh, adding new data and function is not easy in procedure oriented programming language but adding new data and function is easy in object oriented programming language uh, procedure oriented programming is less secure but object oriented is more secure uh, so uh, these are the uh, difference that uh, then structure of c++ there are uh, in c program the structure is a specific and particular manner in C++ and the program is divided into the following three sections. Standard, li library section, then main function, uh, section and function body section. Okay, thank you.